So today I wanted to talk about loyalty versus being dumb. Now, I know us as women, like we try to be as loyal as possible to a guy and or to our significant others. And I just like I'm thinking, at what point does it stop being loyal and it just becomes dumb? Because, you know, there are a lot of women who will stay with a man through his hard times and stuff like that or through infidelity and like will forgive for a lot of things. And I'm definitely one of those pe people where like I will stay with the person and try to make it work until it can't work anymore and then I'm just like, okay, I'm done. But what situations does that, you know, stop being loyal and it just becomes downright dumb? Like this person is with a guy who's not working and not for a lack of people trying to help him get a job, but he's just not the type to work. And instead of like her being like, you know what, this isn't the life I want, I just want like, you know, I need to move on because I want better for myself and I want better for my life and my future. Like, I'm just gonna do me because we're on two different planes. And it's just like, and then they see it as, oh, them abandoning the person. It's like, no, it's not you abandoning the person because the fact of the matter is, if the person sees you trying to accomplish things and they're not motivated to accomplish things either, you're not compatible. Like, this person is just gonna keep dragging you down. Especially if like your family and friends see that you're you're just a shell of yourself the person that you used to be like there is a problem like no one should be able to strip you of who you are they should only be able to help you be better and progress like if they're trying to if they've got gotten you into a position where you're worse off than you were before then that's not a good person for you and it's even to the point that this person had said that oh because of the person that they're with now like they've lost their friends and they're pretty much isolated and alone except for themselves and that person and it's just like honey like why would you want to be with someone like that why would you want to be with someone who has pushed your family and friends away from you because they just don't like the person you've become and they don't feel like they are you know like you guys have anything in comparison like she got mad because she thought that her friends leaving her like that wasn't nice but I was just like I'm sorry to say if that was me I'd do the same thing because it's like if you're going one way and I'm going another way like there's no point of us being friends like if you're not living up to what I want in my circle like why would I want to be around you especially if I don't like the person that you're with or the person you're becoming like I'm not about that like I like surrounding myself with like-minded individuals so it's like if I'm all about go-getting and being motivated and being with someone who compliments me and you're with someone who I see is bringing you down and I don't like who you've become I'm sorry I'm going to go on and do my thing and respective respectfully let you do your thing like there's no point of us remaining friends because it's just like no one wants to sit there and see their friend just how, how can I explain this no one wants to sit there and see their friend just become a shell of themselves and just seeing their friends doing bad especially if you know the potential of that person and they can't see it like it's like banging your head against the wall like no one wants to deal with that so you can't be mad at them for leaving you and that should make you open your eyes to be like you know what clearly what I'm doing is not right because these are people I used to hang out with because we had similar outlooks on life and now they've gone and surpassed me and they're just trying to do their own thing like clearly there's something that is wrong like there's an outlier there's something that just isn't clicking and it just pisses me off because it's just like there's there's being a, like I said there's being a loyal girlfriend and like trying to be there for someone like maybe people don't see their full potential but you do and you're trying to help them to achieve that potential but when that person does not even want to achieve that and they rather be out partying and doing dumb shit it's there is a point where you're just like, I need to leave this situation. It's not healthy for me. It's like if you're more of a parent to this person and they're just trying to spend money and they're not caring about life, like that's not someone you should be with. Like, why do you not get it? And this person thinks, okay, I need to stay with them because they don't have anyone else in their lives and I, I'm their only support. And if I leave them, then like they just won't be good without me. But it's just like you're giving this person more more meaning in your life than they're giving you like if you have someone in your life who isn't even checking for you and checking that you're good and they only care about them being good like I, like how does that even make sense to you and it's just one of those circumstances where it's just like you shouldn't be with a guy and you're being his parent like his parents should have done that job it's not your responsibility to parent him and try to help him realize his mistakes and especially if it's a person that everybody else 
has tried to help and it hasn't gotten through their head and now you're trying to help them and it's still not getting through their head it's just like you're looking dumb because now you're being dragged down into the misery and it's really sad because this girl is like so smart and she could be anything that she puts her mind to like she's she's smart she's beautiful she used to be motivated and she used to just want so many great things for herself that you just want to be around her and now she's just like she seems defeated and it's just like it hurts because especially if you knew that person when they were doing well and then you see them now you're just like you just want to shake them because you're like this is not you like this is not what you deserve like you need to open your eyes and realize that this is a bad situation for you and it's just like when you try to speak to these people like instead of them realizing that you're trying to tell them something for their benefit they think that you're just trying to be mean or you're just trying to put them down or the person that they're with down and it's just like no like i'm not trying to put that person down but i'm letting you know that they're dragging you down like, if you're with somebody that if they had their last dollar, they'd try to make sure that they're good. While if you had your last dollar, you'd try to make sure that they're good. Like, it doesn't work. Like, if this person is selfish while you're trying to be there and try to take care of them, like, basically you need to be a parent. You need to call yourself a parent and not a spouse. Like, how, like, why would you want to be with someone like that? Like, I understand someone being at the bottom and you guys are trying to rise together. But if this person is at the bottom and they're happy being at the bottom and the only way that they ever amount to anything in life is if you drag them along with your process, like, that's somebody that you need to cut off. And you're basically looking dumb for trying to be there for this person and they could give two fucks about you like i always believe that you should be with someone who compliments your hustle like you should be with someone who has the same well not even the same viewpoints as you but someone who is trying to strive to achieve something and try to build something not someone who's just happy being where they are and not trying to evolve or trying to even there see that's a, the other thing there is being happy with where you are like there are some people who are happy like you know they work their nine to five and they pay their bills and they have a lot a couple extra dollars left at the end of the day to enjoy i understand that but when it's somebody who has nothing to their name and they're not even trying to build anything they're just happy with just the menial scraps that they have like how is that attractive and on top of it like not that this is an excuse but at least i could kind of understand if the person was like good looking because then maybe i'm like okay you're blinded by the good looks but when the person is ugly they're not like attractive they're not even like when they open your, their mouth, you just want to punch them because everything that comes out of their mouth is just inarticulate and just dumb as hell. It's just like, what attracts you to this person? They're not cute. They have no brain in their heads and they aren't motivated to do shit with their lives. Like, what are you doing, boo? Like, why? And especially like, if there, there'll be those times where you think that you've gotten through to them, like you'll have a one-to-one -one powwow and then they'll be like, yeah, you're right. Like, I'm going to try to, you know, do better and try to get my life together and stuff. But then it's just like, as soon as the conversation is over, that's the last you hear and see of them trying to do something with their lives. And then they'll still complain about the same thing over and over again. Oh, this person isn't doing this. They're not doing that. They're not providing, you know, I'm doing everything on my own. Like if I don't do it, they won't do it. Why are you complaining? Why, why would you think that things would be different? Because you're trying to do the same, it's insanity. You're doing the same things, expecting different results. Nothing different will happen. The only way something different will happen is if you switch it and you get yourself away from this toxic parasite. Like, don't be surprised if things are still the same, if you're staying there. And it's like, plus, why would the person even want to change? Because they know no matter what, you still going to be there. No matter what dumb shit they do, you're still going to be there. So, like, why, like when people stay in a toxic situation and then they try to say that they stay in it for like all these reasons that aren't really there like oh they're staying in it for the other person's well-being no I'm sorry but like if that person doesn't give two shits about you enough to try to make themselves better they're not there for your well-being so why do you have to sacrifice for theirs and then these people always act like they're in these situations alone and I understand that in certain circumstances people are in those situations alone but when there are those people who have like friends and family and stuff who are willing to help them and willing to be there for them it's just like why are you putting yourself through this like how much love like like how much do you love someone to the point that like you rather put their happiness ahead of all of your happiness and your sanity like i'm sorry but like my love only goes as far as your love does like i've learned through 
<laughs> heartbreak that like if you're giving 50 percent, i'm giving 50 if you're giving 100 i'm giving 100 i'm only giving as much as you're giving if you're not trying to make this work neither am i like there's plenty of fishes in the sea like there are seven billion of us on this earth you mean to tell me i'm not going to go down the road and find somebody else especially I, I talk to women because we are the ones who fall for it the heaviest but we have to do better we have to understand our worth and understand that these guys aren't worth it at the end of the day they're not worth all these tears they're not worth all this heartbreak like you need to make yourself happy first and when you make yourself happy you'll realize that you will only attract positive people and positive situations like if you're gonna think that you only deserve like freaking billy bob down the street like that's all you're gonna attract but if you realize that you're a queen and you deserve way more than what you're getting you'll like you will get you a um what do you call it let me see you will get yourself a Tay Diggs, you will get yourself an Idris Elba, you will get yourself a Michael Ely girl. You just gotta, you know, just embrace your beauty and your awesomeness and don't fall for these little fuckboys. And the other thing that you'll find is that when you start working on yourself and trying to better yourself as an individual and trying to get yourself where you need to be, you'll find that that guy that you've been trying to break your neck trying to make happy, he'll either fall in line or fall out of formation and be gone. Either way, you're better off. Like, stop trying to go for these little crackheads that are only going to turn you into one as well. Like, they're basically like soul zombies. Like, you let them in and they'll just suck the life out of you and turn you into a zombie too. Like, why do you want that? Why don't you want someone who inspires you and makes you happy all the time? Like, you see these relationship goals on TV and social media and stuff and you wonder, like, why you can't get someone like that. That's because you're not trying to attract that. You're not trying... You don't think that you're good enough to get that, so you you don't like you don't realize that what you're dealing with right now, you don't have to deal with it. You can have happy ever after. You can be bay goals and stuff like that. You just have to let go of that leech. Like, don't just stay with someone just because you're lonely. Like, girl, do you know how many other things you could be doing? Make more time for your friends. Actually, try to you know what? That's the other thing. If you're so worried about being alone. Try to throw yourself into things that you enjoy. Try to throw yourself into a goal that you've always wanted to do. And you'll be surprised how time flies. Try to surround yourself with people more often. Try to go out. Try to socialize more. And you'll see that you won't be alone. And then little by little, like, of course it's going to hurt in the beginning. But you'll realize that at the end of the day, you'll look back and you'll be like, yo, I was really sweating this person. Like, you'll look at them and your skin will crawl. And you'll just be like, what the hell was wrong with me? Like, yeah, it right now it doesn't seem possible. But everything takes time. Like, you don't start walking first you crawl so it's just like give yourself the time and give yourself the benefit of the doubt to at least try to make the moves to just getting away from these fuck boys like you're not being loyal you're being dumb all right guys i hope you like this little chatty get ready with me i know i might have cursed a couple times i'm sorry but this isn't even a video to like you know pinpoint anyone or try to make anyone feel bad it's just something that i know a lot of people might need to hear from someone else besides friends and stuff because sometimes when we hear stuff from other people we just take it in better than when we hear it from someone who's close to us so like don't put yourself in a situation or keep yourself in a situation where you're not getting the most out of that person and they're not even trying to be all that they can be for you because if you're trying and they're not it's like what's the point of being in a situation like that you should be with someone who treats you like gold you should be with someone who makes you actually feel like they want to be with you and want to work for you and try to take care of you and cherish you not someone that you're having to take care of and they it's a one-way street you know what i mean like you're a pink starburst not a yellow like know what you're worth and get what you deserve you know so yeah that was it i get very passionate about some of these topics and stuff like that but anyways that was it hope to see you guys later bye